I'm Jada Montemirano for Red Carpet Report at the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills, and we're here for the 2016 Media Access Awards, promoting disability awareness in film and television. So what are you being honored for tonight? Uh, we are being honored for Born This Way. It's a show about seven young adults with Down syndrome and their families, which airs on A&E. And tell me a little bit about the show. Well, um, you know, for too long it seemed people with disabilities were just not seen in prime time. And what our show does is it takes seven young people who have Down syndrome who are really mainstream to be independent. And we watch as they, as they take those steps towards full independence with the support of their loving families. What was the idea behind the show? How did it come about? The show came about because from the very first show I created, The Real World, it was always about getting people onto TV who normally aren't seen. So the idea of having people with disabilities actually on TV, to have them as part of a cast, felt like that would break a barrier and help demystify the idea of disability. Awesome. And where do you see the disability inclusion going from here with shows like Born This Way? I think this is just the beginning. You know, as we've seen over the years, we've seen much more inclusion of gay and lesbians. Um, and I think disability is really the next civil right area that we're getting into. So I hope that one day we have characters in shows who just happen to be disabled. They're a lawyer, they're a doctor, you know, they're a housewife who throws tables, but they happen to have a disability. So they're like nobody, they're just like everybody else. I think that's the idea. Well, it was really great meeting you and congrats on your honoring tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more interviews. And in the comments below, let us know what your favorite interview from today was.